The clarity of mind while hiking through nature makes this one of the world's favourite ways to unwind. Here in Wakayama, on the Komodo Kodo Trail, pilgrims used to follow this path in search of a higher purpose. We have travelled from Tokyo to Osaka and then south to Wakayama Prefecture. This outdoor playground has been popular for Japanese of all walks of life way back since 800 AD. I'm on the Nakaheshi route, which is a path that one would traditionally follow to seek spiritual enlightenment through nature. There are three main shrines on the leg that I'm travelling that pay respect to trees, rocks and a waterfall, all of which played an important part in both Shinto and Buddhist beliefs. Now more quiet than its peak usage hundreds of years ago, in the 12th century, this particular section was known as the Pilgrimage of Ants due to the huge numbers of monks trekking the trail. These Shinto shrines are dotted all along the pilgrimage path and provide a stop for pilgrims to pray for a safe journey ahead. There's a very specific way to pay your respects and it involves a coin, a bell and a bow. One of the great things about the trails is that you don't need to cart everything with you. There are plenty of restaurants and inns along the way, catering to every need. So all you really need is a day pack. If seven kilometres of misty forest paths and stunning scenery isn't enough, you're rewarded with your first major stop on the path to enlightenment here. This is the Kamana Hongu Taisha Grand Shrine and it translates to Gate of the Tree. After a solid day of hiking, I couldn't think of anything better than a long, hot bath. So conveniently, these onsens, or volcanic hot springs, are dotted all along the trail. This one not only happens to be one of the oldest, it is also UNESCO World Heritage listed. Onsens came into popularity around the 8th century as a simple way to soothe aches and pains. The Tsuboyu Onsen is one of the oldest and has been in operation since the beginning of the 12th century. So not only are there hot springs for bathing in, but there's also particular hot springs that are just for cooking in. So this gentleman has just cooked some eggs and from what he tells me, 15 minutes is the perfect boiling time for a nicely cooked egg. Oh wow, perfection. Mm, beautiful, good. <laughs> One of the reasons you can afford to pack so light is because all the inns along the way provide you with appropriate attire, including traditional gown and slippers. I've hiked over 10 k's today and I've seen some beautiful shrines to nature. 
but this would have to be my favourite. Day two, and we're starting out early to head down the Kamanogawa River to the Temple of the Rock. There are 588 steps to the temple, and be warned, it's a very steep climb. Well, this is my second stop, which means I'm halfway. And even though this particular shrine pays respect to the huge rock, the view shows us just how far we've come. For the final part of the first leg, it was tradition for pilgrims to dress in their best outfit to make sure they finished the journey in style. And if you want the full experience, that option's still available today. Wow, well this is it, we made it to the top of the hill and to the first gate. What a welcome. The Kamano Naichi Taisha is the third of the sacred shrines that we have ticked off and pilgrims would have travelled to all three to complete their pilgrimage. There are all these stations set up, designed for you to be able to make a wish, but it's very important that you write your name so Buddha or God knows who you are and your address, so he knows where to find you. I find this fascinating. We're on a very sacred site and we literally have two religions existing happily side by side. Buddhist temple, Shinto shrine. The difference is Buddhism worships Buddha Shinto worships nature. If only every religion was as harmonious. It feels quite fitting that my journey ends here at the shrine that worships the Nachi waterfall, the tallest waterfall in all of Japan. But for many pilgrims, their journey is just beginning. <laughs> 